specimen Dude, for, for basketball. Right. I mean, he's he's every position in one body. Yeah. He's every position in one body. He doesn't really just specialize in one thing. Yep. But when you talk about Kobe, you talk about MJ. Yeah. You talk about what I think about those guys is number one the championships. You think about num notably MJ making his teammates better. Kobe had to do that later on in his career. Yep. And you think about just the pl plethora of moves, the repertoire that MJ and Kobe possess. With at, the killer instinct. Right, at any given time. Yeah. Kobe can play away from the basket, he plays defense, and he can play in the post. Yeah. And he has a jump shot, a consistent, yeah. effective jump shot. Now, let me, okay, let me play devil's advocate because I was doing this the other day. You make a top five players of all time. You make your top five team. I'm going to tell you my top five. And it's controversial. Okay? Ooh. Here's where I'm going to go. And I'm going to pick people from different eras. My center, without a doubt, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. NBA scoring leader. If you see him in his prime, seven foot, probably seven foot three, could block shots, and did not crack under pressure, almost 90% from the free throw line. Rings everywhere he went. Okay? So that's my center. Okay. Now I'm going to start. Here's where it's going to get controversial. My, my point guard is going to be Magic Johnson. All right? So that's my point. Also won everywhere because I believe luck counts, and he was always lucky. Here's where a real controversy begins. My shooting guard is Steph Curry. My small forward is Michael Jordan. My power forward is Hakeem Olajuwon. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, you got to have oh, Hakeem. Or Bill Russell. Now, here's where the controversy Ooh. comes. Kobe's not in there, and neither is LeBron. Now they're on the team of my top team. So they're on, they're they're, they're the on. second unit coming off the bench. Yes, but let me justify why. Who would you want, Jordan? Because Jordan always had a shooter. He had a Paxson, a right? Kerr, Steve he had Kerr. a Steve Kerr, and it was important to hit big shots. BJ, who would you rather shoot the ball Craig out Hodge. to? Kerr, Paxson, Hodges, or Steph Curry? Ooh. Oh, I'm going to I'm going Curry. Exactly. I'm going Curry. So even though Curry's too, imagine this. You throw the ball into Kareem, you try to collapse. He shoots the ball out to Curry. It's going to be like shooting fish in a barrel. That's a layup. So what's your five? Ooh, five. Oh. By the way, this is the game one breakdown of the series. Ah, here we go. All right. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, my, my five. Okay, I'm going with Bill Russell. Okay, center. Yeah, because he's, he's a mean, winner. Absolutely. That matters, right? People that just, even if they're not the greatest specimen, there's some intangible. Some Absolutely. people just win. Point guard. Oh, this is tough. Point guard. I may go. I may go Isaiah Thomas with you on yeah, this. He's pretty bad for pure point guard. Right. Exactly. But Magic was 6'9. Right. Okay, yeah. I'm going, I, I would go Magic. We don't have to put magic. No, you're right. I got, well, you know, I'm, I'm, MJ is in there. Yeah. So, so I got MJ. I would got you MJ. put Bird? Would you put Barkley? Would you put LeBron? Would you have Kobe? I think you'd have Kobe. I'm going to put Kobe in there. Yeah, Kobe's your two. Yeah, Kobe's my shooting guard. And then my next. Jordan's in your small forward. Yep. Or vice versa. Yeah, he's, he's. Oh, that would be a nasty team. Kobe right. and Jordan right. on the same. Exactly. That's. Woo! Those two are interchangeable. Yeah. Those like are two in the same. I got one more. Uh, Who's my, yeah, your, your power forward is always the hardest. You got McHale, you got LeBron you could put there. That'd be a tough one, LeBron there. Uh, now I can't, I can't put LeBron as my power forward because I, I don't, you got Tim I, Duncan. I, I don't, I don't think he has a polished back to yeah, the basket he game. Yeah, he's not a post up man. You know what, I'll go with Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan, I like, I like Tim Duncan, just for the, just for the fact that he's done it. Yeah. Over the you know he won in three average. different eras. He won in the '90s, in the 2000s, yeah. and the teens. Yeah, he won exactly. championships. Just the, the longevity yeah. and the fact that again, even even the the last couple of years, when when they've needed him and they've inserted him into the lineup, he's been able to produce. He hasn't been able to log the the the, the amount of minutes that he did in his prime. Yeah. But again, when you look at the games that he played, even against the the uh, the, the OKC Thunder. Yeah. He played well enough for them to win. Oh, yeah. They just didn't have Tony Parker on the floor. Yeah. And obviously, he must have been hurt. Yeah. What do you think? Imagine that back-to-back. -back. Hakeem Olajuwon versus Tim Duncan. 
Hakeem's a better defender, though. Oh, no doubt about it. I, I, when you initially started your five, yeah. I was like, I thought you was going to start with Hakeem. I mean, he's, he could be center but or Kareem, he could be a four. Kareem is I never nasty. got to, I never got to see Kareem play. Watch so old Kareem I, games. I, 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 didn't, I, I never got the chance of the luxury to, to watch Kareem play. How are you going to block a seven-foot-two guy throwing up a sky hook? From 18 you, you, feet. You can't. There, there's, it was virtually impossible. And well, he was efficient with it at, the, oh, at yeah. that. His hook shot was like everybody today's uh, jump shot. Yeah. It's so crazy. It's kind of kind of hard. All right, let's switch the subject. You, I didn't get to go because I had some stuff come up, but you went to the Central Intelligence uh, movie. Premiere. Red carpet with The Rock, Kevin Hart. How was the movie? We going. The movie was funny. Um, it four had, stars, three stars. I say I, I would give it three and seven. Uh, <laughs> three and seven. It was, it was good. I, I, I was. I, I would give it. Uh, I would, three and three fourths. Now who's funnier? Because I feel like The Rock is funny, man. Now he's funny, but Kevin Hart is funny. Yeah. Like, the way you can tell when some people act, like some of his stuff, his it seems like he ad libs. You mean Kevin Hart? Kevin Hart. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's just that funny. Yeah. Like. You already know going in it's going to be funny, but there there are moments where he makes some moments that aren't so funny funny. Yeah, I mean he just, probably does ad lib. Right, exactly. I mean he his the, the high pitches in his voices. Yeah, I mean just the deflections in in in, in those alone uh, makes him just hilarious. Yeah. Um, Let's take some questions now. Let's bring he's, this. Yeah, he's Facebook just a funny. He's, he's just a funny guy. All the way around. So the movie's funny. It's a good comedy. Right. I mean, even you prior, it? right, even prior to the movie, when he and 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 Dwayne got up and spoke to the to the audience. Oh, did they speak? Were yeah, you there, yeah. Yeah. He had the crowd laughing. I mean, yeah. he he has to be funny. Yeah. No matter what. T O. We got football legend T O in the house. We're talking about basketball. We're talking about the premiere of Central Intelligence with Kevin Hart and The Rock. We're going to talk a little business, investors. And yeah. uh, we haven't even talked about, we talked about LeBron. We'll be taking some question answers. So if you have any questions uh, on the specific NBA Finals conversation that we're having, that's what I want to hear. If you think LeBron is great or don't think he's great, Ronaldo Gibson just wrote started out by saying LeBron. But now, Ty, let me can I okay. ask you something? Yes. Just say hypothetically they, that the the Cavs lose tonight. Is this okay. going to be more so about LeBron losing the finals? Oh yes. Or is it going to be gonna more, get roasted? Or is it going to be more about the Warriors and what they've accomplished this year? Seventy three and nine. It'll be more they've about LeBron. Bro they've already broken playoff records. Yeah. Uh, win records. Um, again, Steph Curry, to be honest, yeah, he hasn't, he hasn't, up play, he hasn't played like the MVP, I think, that yeah. he should have been but playing. But Clay has. Yeah, Clay. I mean, he that's up. another question. That, that's another scenario, too. But again, my question is, is this going to be more about LeBron losing? And, and if so, why? Because, okay, I'm going to answer because, this from a but, psychological standpoint. Humans are more interested in the negative it's called the negativity bias of the brain. It's a cognitive bias. So people are going to be instantly attracted to a negative story over a positive, uplifting Golden State Warrior story. But what about, Unfortunately. Well, but what about the reality of this situation that the Warriors are just better than, are better than the yeah, Cleveland Cavaliers? Better. So is but, that, would that be, is it justified to be overly critical of LeBron obviously getting to, what is this, his sixth or seventh final? I think it's his six. Yeah. I think let's say it's his sixth final and him losing. So he'll be like what two and four? Yeah, which is still good. No, that's not good. Stop it. That's not even fifty. But to have two rings is right, good. Right, exactly. I said that's the two wins. Yeah. Two and four. That's that wouldn't be good. That's yeah. not even fifty percent. Well I'll but tell you, he's the but but he donned himself after la last year that he's the greatest player in the world. Yeah, be, I, you know, my personal thing is you got to be careful when you say the greatest because people are going to hold you to that standard. And that's why I feel like in terms of LeBron, I can't, again, regardless of what people may think or uh, of me saying this, like I can't give him that nod over Kobe to be right. one of the best players, you know, in, that t in my yeah, top three. If you had three. a choice between Curry, I mean, Kobe. between LeBron and Kobe. And dude, and I. And, Kobe, right? Because yeah, of the killer I, I, instinct. Right, and, and, and this is no disrespect to LeBron, I, I'm just going by what I've seen. Yeah. 
you know, from every aspect of his game, especially when his team needs him. Going even, let's go back to last year's playoffs. Yep. Again, he willed them to almost winning, but had he taken that, that killer instinct like he did in game five of this series, had he taken that killer excuse me, killer instinct in the game one and two, then they, they may beat the Warriors last yeah. year. That's what I'm saying. You got to come out strong in the first two games. You can't be passive aggressive. Yeah. You can't wait till the critics are on you, and then you you have to put the team and the city yeah. on your shoulders. Right. If you saw his demeanor in last game, yeah, there was no smiling. Yes, exactly. You saw the focus. I like that he about Jordan. In. I like that about Kobe. Again, they don't play around. He should have come out with that same mindset game one. Yeah. I, I'm, we're 100% on board. And I will tell you, there's one thing that's not been talked about enough, which is coaching matters. Coaching matters. It's not the most important thing, but maybe you could speak to this as a player in the NFL. I believe that Kerr, Steve Kerr, the Golden State Warriors coach, is one of the great coaches coaching right now. Absolutely. And so I feel like Tyrone Liu is a new coach to LeBron. I bet you LeBron's a little hard to coach. And so, of course, when you have a guy of that magnitude who's yeah. a superstar, right? Of course. But I mean, somebody—I almost feel like Cleveland made a mistake. They should have. I, one thing I don't understand about how they coach LeBron—they never bring in a veteran that LeBron can look up to. He's had coaches like—I mean, he's a veteran himself. At no, this but point. I'm saying, but somebody a legend like Steve Who? Kerr. There is. You talking Steve about coach wise? Not a legend? Yeah, t- coach oh, coach wise. wise. Because coach wise. Steve Kerr, even though he's not a legend, he can say, I got rings. Right. The only legend coach that's out there right now is Greg Popovich. Yeah. But see, imagine LeBron under a Popovich where he would have some respect. And so listen, because the coaches should have said, here's the plays we're going to run. Andre Iguodala can't be able to guard you or you're not the greatest basketball player. Now, no disrespect. Andre Iguodala. You just disrespected his defensive prowess. But if I told you the NBA best, let's say Dennis Rodman. Okay, who was one of the great defenders of all time? Absolutely. If he was playing against Jordan and he dominate, he dominate Jordan, it wouldn't happen. No, that's just that. You slow him down. So LeBron right. actually almost got stopped the first two games. How many times did he drive to the basket, strip to the ball? I mean, just make you never saw Rodman embarrass Jordan. You might see Rodman make Jordan take hard shots, but pull the ball out of his hand three times. No. Right, but no, that's I think show that's me that footage. again, but that's if you realize if, if you notice in the losses that they had, speaking of the Cleveland Cavaliers yeah. and LeBron, that was when he really tried to will himself and take the game over. When he I don't think he really was prepared prepared for that because ideally everybody says that they have a big three. They don't have a big three. No. They have well, JR's a big, too streaky. They have a big two and they have two players that make up a big three yes. in JR and Kevin Love. Yeah. So you, they don't really have a big three. And that's why this series has gone the way it's had the, yeah. the way it has, because just like the, the, the Warriors motto, strength in numbers versus yeah. a mere big three, it doesn't add up. The oh, second yeah. unit of the Golden State Warriors can compete with the starting five oh, of the yeah, Cleveland exactly. Cavaliers. It's been shown and, they and they, it's been displayed. And Kyrie didn't play that well. Right, but hey, now Zach, he, come, but, Zach, come sit in this for the last couple of minutes. But Zach. confidence, but confidence, Look will take Zach. you we to need another. Flame, Zach. Zach, you're not that. Zach. you're not that studious, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do we got to say about? And I called you Jack, not Zach. Hey, are you on the phone? Come be in our show. Mike says, "Who is the best receiver in football right now?" Right now? Yeah, who do you go? Uh, I would have to probably say Antonio Brown. What are you saying, Zach? I would say, Zach I, knows football. I had to say Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown from the Steelers, right? Right. Yeah. 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 yeah that's tough. I mean, that's tough to beat. You but got. I think it's the sexy answer right now. Odell but, Beckham? No, that. I mean, he's Beckham, good. Yeah. I mean, he he gives you highlights. Yeah, that's what he's like the sexy. He, he, he give you uh, give you highlights. Um, but if you think about uh, the body of work and actually producing, that would be Antonio Brown. Right. In terms of what he what he means to his team and what he does on a weekend basis, mm-hmm. and then I think behind him would be. Anywhere, I would say I would give uh, Dez Bryant. Um, you look at Larry Fitzgerald with his his yeah, uh, yeah. his body of work. Don't Ooh, don't the Super what Bowl something. Let's Atlanta. talk about Super Bowl predictions. I don't right really now. watch fo- I don't even really watch football. But like if that. you had to go, who are you gonna go? Right now? Yeah. <sighs> who was in the last one? Uh, <laughs> Denver, Carolina. Game. Carolina. It was, it was, <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh, that's, you think Carolina can get back? That, 